Hello, hello, and welcome to another tutorial of hostmaria.com. And this will be again about your stackcp.com dashboard that is provided by 20i. Of course, it is custom made cloud hosting dashboard. So uh, the issue sometimes is following. Let me describe the problem. And hello, hello again. So a person decides to use our platform. And the first things first, you need you need to change the name servers. You need to change the name servers for your domain name, and the name servers will point will point to our servers, and then the whole internet will know where the files and the databases of of your website um, are located. But the issue here is the the whole process of domain name changing of uh, yes of name server updates can take up to forty eight hours. In the really worst cases, there are some bad, bad cases, and then you have to wait up to 48 hours. Usually it takes four to six hours and in, in most cases, and then the name servers have changed globally. So that is the process you have to wait. But as all the all the people, we are we are imperfect, and we always want to do everything faster, faster, quicker, quicker, and we initiate name server change, and then we'll start doing our installations, WordPress installations on the domain name. We can see that the installation goes through, and we think, well, why not? Everything, everything seems to be fine, and then once uh, once we once we go to our the, the, our domain, we can see the the URL is strange. There is some stacking, staging, something. God knows, and nobody understands what is uh, what is going on. Uh, so you have triggered you have triggered uh, activation of temporary address. And today I'll be explaining what is it. Very, I'll try to do it very shortly. What is it? Where you can see it? Why is it helpful? Why is it helpful? And well, I'll show how to sort it out. And of course, for most people, uh, as most people use WordPress, I'll show how to sort it out for WordPress. So let us go on and change the view like this. So on all the, so as as I have shown before, we have created a custom custom. Uh, custom account for where the primary domain is domain5.net. Uh, it is not our domain name. We do not own it. We do not know who owns it, but it is just it is created just for demo purposes. So and up here you can see there is temporary address. There is temporary address. And the temporary address uh, is uh, yes. So the temporary address will allow you to work on the website before you have changed the name servers. And uh, so you basically you can create a website, then you can do changes in. Uh, I will show these uh, uh, where these changes have to be done. You'll do just uh, you'll add, edit just two lines and that's it. And you can change the name servers, edit those two lines, and that's it. And your new website will be live. So let us let us do it as as it is. And so uh, quick quick background. Let us check the domains. What do we have here? So we can see that we have a domain uh, domain seven dot net is the primary domain. Uh, oh no, uh, it was so domain five dot net uh, domain five dot net is primary domain, and all the files should be in public HTML. Great. Let us go back and let us just install WordPress. So I'll be showing as as a re real life situation what happens. So WordPress.com, you would go to WordPress.com, the one-click installs. We have 70 plus WordPress installs up here. You would choose the domain name. So our primary domain we decided to do to work with is domain5.net. Uh, in directory, you do not have to do anything, just install. Now it will take time. Um, lots of lots of processes happen in, in the in the background, and let us see what will what will happen. And of course, what you might want to do, you might want to prepare a sheet of paper, uh, a pen, or, or or maybe just a notepad or something where you, where you write down uh, your passwords and numbers. So what we what we see here is, let me zoom in. So the WordPress inst uh, install has completed successfully. This is the normal URL. As we can see it, yes. Again, we do not, okay, so, so Chinese probably Chinese investors own this domain name. So domain5.net, ah, not really worth anything. And here is, we can see a temporary address. This is the second address. This is a temporary address. And once we click on it, we can see domain5-net.net. 
Yes, uh, stackstaging.com. Let us complete the installation. In order, uh, if we did not complete the installation, then the WordPress, uh, then the WordPress database will be empty. So let us do best five, best five, anything, password, just in the case, let us save it. Bang, bang, your email, demo at, demo at hostmaria.com and install. Let us finalize the WordPress installation, and then I will show you what is how how to solve how to solve it. So that's it, and yes, and then we can know that this WordPress is installed. And for many, again, for many users who rush, and before you change, before you start installing WordPress, please make sure that the DNS is the name servers that the name servers have changed globally before you start. Uh, working with one click installs so we can see that this uh, this temporary url has been activated how to solve it how to solve it uh first first things first you have to make sure before you start solving it that the names the servers uh, finally have changed globally uh how to do that i'll explain in a different video or ah uh, let us let us let us do it the same so Okay, check, uh, check check the main name propagation, any two of them. DNSchecker.org is great. And then we could do, what was that? Or let us say hostmaria, hostmaria.com. By the way, we have, um, I have moved hostmaria.com on our cloud just to show you guys that the hosting is really good and even our main website works absolutely fine on on our cloud so now you have to wait for all these records to be and these are our name servers and in the process when you'll be changing name servers you will see you, some points uh, some places will be red uh, and so at some places at some, some servers they will display all old DNSs, some other ones will start displaying the new ones. And all you have to do is just wait till the whole, whole, whole list is the same with our name servers. Then you are ready to go. Then, so now when your name servers have changed globally, your address, your, your temporary URL will be still the same. And whenever you will go to your main website, it will get uh, redirected to this uh, temporary URL. So what do you have to do next? Very, very simple. So first things first, we have to understand which database, which uh, which database do, does this WordPress installation talk to. So what we do, we go to file manager. Then we have to go to public HTML. In this case, as the primary domain name is in public HTML, then we would go to WP config. So WordPress config, all the WordPress configuration files are here. And now we have to find the name of the uh, database. So here is the database name. Very, very simple. I'll copy just for myself. So this is the WordPress data, uh, database name. We have to remember it. OK, let us close it down. Go back home. And now, very, very simple task to be done. Now we have to go into PHP MI Admin. And and then and, 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 and. okie dokie. Okay, once again, let us see which one was it. Oh, oh that, that's actually great. This is actually great. So primary domain was here. That's good. That's good. Okie dokie. And And once again, public HTML, wp-config, code editor, and then, then, and we have x. This is our host name. This is our host name. That's good. That's good. So once again, now we know the, the host name. Usually the host, host name 
will be the same for most of your uh, installations. Uh, tick, tick, tick. Okay, PHP admin. So we can see this is our this is our host name. As as the whole as as the whole uh, hosting we offer is cloud hosting. It is shared cloud hosting. So the cloud is created within one data center. And therefore, the, the database is one database will be the, the one uh, host name for one database might be shared uh, DDBX, then for some other will be T, for some others will be there, here, there. Um, so we know that we have to go log in here. Very simple. Here is our, here, here is our WordPress installation. And in some cases, you might see more as as you might have like let us say five, 10, 50 sites, then you might have you will have more databases here. And now it is very simple. You just have to go and find the database that says options. In some cases, it might be WP options, there might be some letters, just look for options. Click on it. And up here, just have a look. Here is the URL. And again, before you edit these ones, please make sure that your name servers have changed globally. So what you have to do here is very simple. You go here, click on edit. And, uh, okay. and what one's first? Site URL. Go, update it, and the second one, edit, and again, with that one, go. And that's it. You see, you have to edit only these two lines. After that, just go to your, just go to your URL. Again, in my case, it will not work, but go to wp.admin, enter, and it will bring you it will bring you to the settings just go go deeper in double go, go into your wordpress settings and make sure that the url has changed there and that's it congratulations and the problem is solved thank you and i really hope that this video will be helpful for you in solving this simple simple possible problem